Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we have a suggestion from Sona Sharma. Hola, Sona. Hola, Sona. And Sona is asking a question. This is a beginner's um, podcast, videocast, in fact. And it's the difference between qué and cuál. Qué and cuál. Yeah. Okay. So, vamos a hablar de todo eso. De la segunda parte. la segunda parte. <laughs> Mejor. Okay, so, so Sona saying, which, how do we know when we should use que, and how do we know when we should use cual? Okay, now, I believe that there are two little markers that'll help us, uh -huh. two little things that we have to remember. So the the simplest one, and then Cynthia can can guide us more on on the details. Cual is goes with a verb. Cual right? mm -hmm. with the verb. So uh, typically the verb is said, cual es? And that translates as what is, not which is. Yeah? What is? So typically it goes with, cual uh, sería tu blah, blah, blah. You know, what would be? So that's when we're going with the verb. When we go with a the noun, then we use que. Okay. Yeah? So. That uh, we can also use que with with a verb. Of course we can, and yeah, which we we're can... gonna we'll come to. But just as a as a rule of thumb, cual with a verb, cual es, what is, and que with the noun. So que yes. coche, que coche tienes. Exactly. Yeah? If you have a noun, then it's definitely que, unless you speak Spanish from Latin America, and then they do they have other rules. Right. Okay. But in mm -hmm. Spain, if you have a noun, like car then it's going to have to be que, mm -hmm. que coche. It can't be cual coche. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it just sounds wrong. It sounds wrong cual coche. in Spain. But like, yeah. like I said, in Latin America, they, they okay. do use it that way. Okay. But then we've got, with a verb, you can use que. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But um, the difference, if we, if we look at the difference between cual es... Tu color favorito. Sí. Right? ¿Qué es tu color favorito? Both questions are valid. ¿Qué es tu color favorito? But I would say, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? Uh, no. But the, what, example, what, ha what happens? Do, before before you, sh you shoot off, okay. you just explain. I don't want to leave them with a bad sentence. It is a bad sentence. When you ask, <laughs> ¿qué es? What, you're not saying, what is your favorite color? What you're saying is, can you give me a dictionary description of what a favorite color is. A fa what, what favorite color means. What, what it does means. Favorite color yeah. mean? it's so, a for color example, that you choose. ¿Qué es tu color favorito? Bueno, es un color que, que es mi color preferido. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not a question you would ask. ¿Qué es tu color favorito? Es un color que es mi favorito. O mi preferido. Ok, but, that, oh, but that's, buena gorda. That's, that's a difference. When you say que es, Ay, what you're looking for is a definition. Yeah. Sí. ¿Qué es la vida? ¿Qué es la vida? Muy bien. What, what is life? What is life? ¿Qué es? Um, ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Qué tienes? What do you have? ¿Qué yeah. comes? What are you eating? Yeah. ¿Vale? So you want a definition, you want a description of that thing. Exactly. Whatever it is, yeah. And then if you have a noun, definitely que. Que coche tienes? What car do you have? Mm -hmm. Que... Que vestido vas a llevar? What dress are you going to wear? Que comida prefieres? What food do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Que... I don't know. Yeah. ¿Sí? So it's always with nouns, que. Sí. Yeah. But when we get to verbs, for example, um, I'm using ser... Cuál es, cuáles son, no? Which are and which is, but sí. it's, it's really it's what is. It, it isn't so much which is, yeah. Um, other verbs that you can use with cuál that come to mind? Tener, for example, you can say tengo muchos coches. Cuáles tienes? Which ones do you have? Mm -hmm. But tengo, no sé, un, un Audi, tengo un, un algo. Uh -huh. 
¿Sí? ¿Cuáles tienes? Mm -hmm. O oh, tengo cinco. ¿Cuál prefieres? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one do you prefer? Tengo uh -huh. cinco. Which one do you prefer? Out of all of these. Just out of interest, if you say which color do you prefer, how would you say that? ¿Qué color prefieres? Mm. So, even we said cuál prefieres, that's because it's going straight onto the verb, but if we put a noun in between, then it, it changes to qué. Sí. ¿Qué color prefieres? ¿Qué color prefieres? Yeah. So it's always with that noun. ¿Cuál color? color? I'm struggling no. to say ¿Cuál it. ¿Cuál color? Sounds, no. Sounds really bizarre. Yeah? ¿Cuál? On its own, yeah. ¿Cuál? Mm -hmm. um, ¿Cuál o oh, cuál prefieres? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one would you prefer? Mm -hmm. Pero, what color do you prefer? No, which one, which... No. So it, uh, in English, you could say which color do you prefer. Yeah. But we would say, what color do you prefer? ¿Qué color prefieres? The challenge that we've got is, is with English. Cla claro, claro. <laughs> because English is so defined and so um, and so beautifully put together. Actually, it's so undefined sometimes <laughs> that it could go either because way. Because we use what, uh, and and this is and in Spanish you've got a choice between a what and a which, and so exactly. it, you can't just translate it in your head like I know yes. which I'm just going to use. Not, it's not a clear cut of qué is what and cuál is which because sometimes. It doesn't work that way in English. It's like two and, and four. You can't say, well, two is por and four or the other way, or para and four is por, because it doesn't work. Sometimes it's not that way. Yes, so... I'll give you an example of what happened to me recently. I mean, you know, oh. the, you know, it's just it, yeah. Um, learning Spanish is an ongoing thing. It's never over. And you, you, never, you never arrive. There isn't really any arrival. No. Um, really? it's, it's a process. It's an ongoing process. So we were chatting in a, in a podcast, in a video cast, and Cynthia said something like, eh, tengo un problema. Right? And I said to her, y que es? Okay? And afterwards, Cynthia said, by the way, you want to be saying, cuál es? Yeah? But my English head was going, Sorry, what, what is it? What is it? Uh -huh. Yeah? So, but the, the answer to, que es? Tengo un problema. Que es? Es like, bueno, un problema es algo, una dificultad que, que, que claro, tienes. Que tengo un problema, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál? Yeah. ¿Cuál, cuál tienes? Pero, ¿qué, ¿qué problema tienes? You could say, ¿qué problema tienes? ¿Qué problema tienes? And listen, ¿qué noun? ¿Qué problema? Claro, ¿qué problema tienes? Ya. Yeah. O, o tengo un problema, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál tienes? Ya. Yeah. Sí, yeah. exacto. So, it's always when you hit that verb that you... Or you can use. say, tengo un problema, ¿qué? What? Okay. Like, yeah. That's it. Just the Throw it down. Okay. In fact, let's start doing that. It's, don't bother with all of that. Just put. Just keep saying que. Yeah. <laughs> like um, Manuel. Uh, Manuel. Manuel from Barcelona. Yeah. Que. <laughs> que. <laughs> there is too much butter on the on those, those three. No, 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 no. no. Uh, that was funny. You watched all of those, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I really like them. And I think, as you said, uh, Manuel, uh, the Andrew Sachs, did a good accent, didn't he? Oh, sometimes I, there were moments that I thought he's Spanish, and then I thought, no, no, he's not Spanish because he said, like, sometimes he would say something off, and I would go, okay, he's not. But then sometimes he would say, obviously he had somebody who trained him. I think him. he had a coach, yeah. He yeah, because I, I've heard other times that people pretend to be Spanish and they don't do such a good job, because yeah. you can tell. Uh, but he did a really good job. He, so he obviously had someone helping him with uh, the diction. Uh, for sure, yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah. But on those trails, <laughs> it was a funny moment. That was a funny moment. Okay, and so. Now a word from our sponsor. Muchas gracias, Luan. Muchas gracias. Qué bonito. De Trinidad y... Y Tobago, ¿no? Tobago. Trinidad y Tobago. Tobago. Creo que se llama Tob así. Tabaco no. Tabaco no. Tabaco no. Tabaco no. <laughs> vale. So just to remind you, for those who haven't seen, we now have the facility for you to support the channel by clicking the join button and you've got a couple of options of how you want to help the channel. One of them is to, to get involved in some of the live uh, chats that we, we do, live classes exactly. as well. Yeah. Muchísimas gracias por apoyar. We'll be careful with that word. Apoyar. <laughs> a este canal. Oh, Muchísimas gracias. Y luego nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós. So, vamos a hablar 
de todo eso en el otro lado. <risa> Joder, en el otro lado. <risa> en el otro lado, it doesn't sound right, honey. It looks like. It sounds like on the other side, like when, when we pass away or something. We talk about it, but. <risa> right. En el más allá. <risa> en el más allá, sí. <risa> En la, en la segunda parte, ¿no? En la próxima parte, en la segunda en la parte. En la segunda parte. <ríe> Mejor.